We are back out on this 2004 Civic and 550 grams, 134 refrigerant. In other videos, I mentioned what I found wrong about the slow leaks at the receiver. This is the mechanic's car here. He came to me while I was working on the Forester. He says, do I have time for this? And not really, but I made time for him. Uh, plus it would make good video because as I suspected, so if you've seen the earlier videos, how low this was, it was 130 some PSI, even though I, ha I was trying to load it up because it's only 79 degrees out here right now and it's like a hundred and something in the car because it's all sealed up. It's black on black or silver on black. And so I wanted to load and I put it on recycle, but my high side was only 134 or 31. Man, I'm going, damn, that's low. And uh, it was seemed like it was blowing pretty damn good, but it was too cold for 100 and some degrees being on recycle mode. And in the last video, I showed you what I found without pulling off the dash. And uh, I mean, not dash, pulling off the glove box that there was this piece, where's the piece of plastic? Oh, I guess he took away. So there was a, a piece of plastic that was, fell down back here. And where in the hell? Oh, so right here, this is what we found. Check, check it out how that looks. And on this one, at least they have two of them. This is great. When they have two of them, that's more surface area, less restriction. But uh, that was the restriction causing the low, low side, low high side, and really cold air coming down, even though it was over 100 degrees recycling inside here. Um, that was restricting the airflow. And it was 131 PSI 34, 37, somewhere around there, because there was no load, even though I was trying to load it. Now, I got those air filters out there. See the low side, the high side went up. The low side went up, because it was going all the way down to 10 PSI. I kept running and I'm going, damn, that's, uh, something's wrong with that expansion valve. I think it's starting to close off and restrict at 10 PSI, because this is not an old Mercedes or some of the old cars where 12 PSI on the low side is normal. This is more like it. So we, we have the filters out. We have fresh air going in and our high side came up. And if I go to up to 2000 RPMs, the high side will go up more. I got our little kickstandy thing. So I have it over a thousand RPMs. Let's see if I could get it up to 2000. Like you're flying down the freeway. That's a little too much. I don't want over 2000. Ah, there we go. Good enough for government work, 1800. So there's a the 1800, that'll get our high side. Fixed piston up, still not that high. There, just kicked on, there we go. Now it should hit 170. Does it hit 170? No, it's not gonna hit 170, but look how low we are. It's a little low for this car, that expansion valve is pulling a little low. That's a little on the restrictor side, because now I have the filter's out of there, I have it wide open, it's hot inside and it's trying to recycle that, and I'm still getting a pretty damn low high side. Um, it's cold out the dash, and I'm, I'm getting so much hot air on my hands right there. I'm getting a pulse reading, fingertips right there. Mm, should be a little colder. Uh, I'm not measuring, you notice I don't have temperature clamps on here. But I'm gonna tell you that the superheat's pretty damn high and we're suffering from a slightly restricted expansion. It's not bad. Well, that's bad, so it shouldn't be restricted. But we're suffering from a restrictive flow of refrigerant at this temperature at 79 degrees, 80 degrees, and it's doing just fine. But on a 90 or 100 degree day, it's not gonna be so happy. Let's switch it because we got a hot engine. We have hot exhaust manifold. We got the air blowing over the fresh air intake. Let's put some uh, hot air from outside because it's starting to cool off inside. I want to put more load over this vat. Yeah, it's getting cool in here now. It's under 100 out here. So let's take this out of recycle and let's get some nice hot engine heat. Load up that evaporator and let's see if we could drive that uh, high side up. This is the kind of experimentation you want to do. Now, 
Now, I want to put this, I don't want to take cool inside air. I want this hot stuff. So let's get this in here. Come on, push that out of Boom. Now I just stopped the inside cool air from going over the car. I'm gonna take this hotter, what's now hotter outside air because it's taking this hot air. What I'm feeling, it's not too bad where it's blowing right here, but it's hotter. Still too restrictive. But you see our high side went up, we're 180 now. We are, we're going up a little bit on the low side because now we got this hot air mixed with the ambient air going over the fresh air intake, putting a higher load over the evaporator that just made our low side go higher. Our high side definitely went higher because we have higher ambient air because of this. All right, through the sporadic last six videos on this, I hope you gained some knowledge because there's no editing, there's no retaking. And whatever I made a mistake on stays in the videos. You catch it if you're good enough and you've learned enough. Say, hey, but what about this? Don't be afraid to ask questions. See you guys later.